All right, and we're up. What's up, everybody? This is uh, Kyle out again for Draft Radio. I'm playing Jankbusters, <laughs> which is the second best second best deck name in this draft for sure. I mean, look at that. How do you say no to that? Our opponent rolled an eight, so there's a chance that we can win this roll. <laughs> nope. We got a two. Draft Radio can do two things. Win games, lose games, but we'll never, ever, ever be able to win a dice roll. <laughs> Oh, man. My long history of terrible dice rolling. Ooh, so we have a Tooth and Nail, a Skull Clamp, a Feast of Famine, Sower of Temptation. Uh, do I keep this? I think I have to mulligan this, actually. Oh, that sucks. I have to mulligan it, though. There's just nothing doing in that hand. Come on, both before us. And we mulligan yet again. All right, going to five. Yeah, buddy. This hand is the best hand that I've had this entire time. <laughs> awesome. Off to a off to a rip roaring start with Jankbusters for sure. Ooh, we do get a Lotus Cobra though. That's kind of nice. So we're gonna play a Skull Clamp. I may actually just pitch my Lotus Cobra to the Skull Clamp and draw two cards. We'll see what happens. Man, oh man. Gotta love that there, Skull Clamp. Could you imagine how busted Skull Clamp would be if you could put it on other people's creatures? You could just mill them with Skull Clamp. At this point, someone someone in the background is rolling their eyes going, You've got to be kidding me. Why on God's green earth would you roll them with... Mill them with... Try and mill them with Skull Clamp. But that's the thing. Why wouldn't you try and mill them with Skull Clamp? It's the little things. You really need to appreciate the little things in life. Okay, so this that, that land changes my line of play because I essentially have two, three, four, five by playing Lotus Cobra. Um, so we'll wait. We will wait. I might actually play Sk equip Skull Clamp, though, onto my wall of roots. The, this, this card is going to be sweet for us. I mean, we're already at five mana, technically speaking, so. We just gotta get to nine. Soon. Soon we will get to nine mana with tooth and nail. It's only a matter of when. Alright, there's a land. Alright, pass the turn back. Nice little, nice little amiable game of magic that we've got going on. Got my turn two play. There's nothing going on his side of the board. I like it so far. And it's not bad. So, what is the best draw that we could possibly get? Uh, certainly we could get a... Our Verdant Catacombs. That would be awesome. Because then what we would do is we would play... We would play... We'd draw Verdant Catacombs. We'd play this land. Play Lotus Cobra. And then we'd have four... Five, six, seven... I don't know... That still doesn't get us there. We gotta put we gotta pay the entwine cost. I might just tutor for my other stuff. Oh, he's got Xenagos. He's got Xenagos. Which means he's gonna be playing uh making a 2-2, two -two, I'm guessing. Yep. There's a Seder. Mad love for the Satyrs. Still got love for the streets. Four, and then it's going to be five, and then six. So we're still a mana off, even if we just wanted to play this part of the, the casting cost for Tooth and Nail. Hmm. I want to play Lotus Cobra here. And then... Huh. See, if I want to do this... I'll play that land out. Now the question is, do I want to ditch Lotus Cobra for the two cards from Skull Clamp? And I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I think we'll just let that, that mana float. Tarmogoyf is awesome. Tarmogoyf is sweet. You're gonna be insane, Tarmogoyf.
Well, those Xenogosses are just going to keep popping out two twos, as he is wont to do. There are two two twos, although they say one ones. We here at Draft Radio know that these are actually two two satyrs. We do not believe the trickery and lies. Hell Rider. What? Man, that is a, that is that is sucktastic. That is a Hell Rider. Ugh. Do these have haste? Oh, they do have haste. Man. All right, so we're automatically taking one. Hell Rider. We'll block. All right, so we take two, three, and then we get beaten down for four more. That puts us to thirteen. Am I okay with that? Yeah, I'm okay with that. Man, yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Okay. Oh, so he's doing it differently. He's putting the counters there. Where were you, survival of the fittest? When I needed you. Well, we are going to skull clamp my Cobra so that it dies. We get to draw two cards. That's exciting. All right, so there we go. Play our play, play our Swamp. All right, we're going to play our Tarmogoyf, who is a 1-2. He is a 1-2. And then we're going to play our Survival of the Fittest. And then do I want to equip... No, I don't. Oh, I'm going to take so much more damage. Hellrider is so powerful. It scares me just a little bit. I mean, this is just a, a slow start from us to a brutal start from him. Oh, man. I mean, if he's smart, he'll make another satyr and just destroy us. Oh, I have to block? Yikes. I need to land. What does this do? Choose a creature card from your hand and put that creature into play. <laughs> oh, my God. He's got sneak attack. He's got Tarasodon. Scoop. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow, that's cool. That was a really that was awesome, cause he Terastodons. Then he gets to make those three threes, and then he just <laughs> there's no way I block this that I survive. Yeah, cause I immediately lose four. I go to nine. I block the nine nine the three three. I take six. Yeah, and no, cause. Yeah, Tarastan makes those tokens. Okay, well, now we go to game two. That was insane. Alright, we're going to be on the play this time around. Oh, man. That was sweet. I thought I had plenty of time. Oh, this is good. We have a Sword of Feast of Famine. We have a Show and Tell. We have a Chromantic. We have a Chromantic Lantern. We just need to draw something. Anything in this deck is good. Alright, so we can play everything in our deck. We just have to draw it. Play our forest out. I mean, we've got sword, we've got lantern, show and tell. If we, you know, if we ever get to show and tell, what's the best possible draw? Uh, primeval titan. I play chromatic lantern and primeval titan.
Hmm. We have a lot of creatures to draw. We, we certainly have stuff. Now, if only I can draw the stuff. That is the question. Don't have Goblin Guide. <laughs> Why? Why do I say these things? Why do I say these things and have Goblin Guide? Alright, let's play this card. If it's a land, I get it. I get the land. Maybe that Goblin Guide is probably the most helpful thing in this thing, so we were going to be drawn dead. That is not the thing that I want him to have. I do not want him to have Goblin Guide on turn one. Okay. Well, Sylvan Karyotid would be sweet. Sylvan Karyotid. Island is not the sweetest thing that we could have drawn there. But that's okay. We'll get there. Maybe, maybe we'll get lucky and he'll ship us another land with this goblin guide. I mean, it's certainly gonna... Man. We have slow hands and nothing else. Well, at least he's doing that... He's not playing anything super amazing. I'm going to go to 16, just because I'm not going to do anything about it. Land. Wow, we get the land. Okay. You know what? Maybe Goblin Guide is actually my best friend. Because maybe I just draw Primeval Titan here and show and tell and play Primeval Titan. <laughs> that would be that would be sweet. In a perfect world, most likely I'm just going to play Chromatic Lantern or sort of Feast and Famine. I mean, we've gotten two free lands off this guy. That's kind of awesome. That's German sounding. Oh man. Goblin guy. Now I know why this card is just absolutely brutality. And I think he's trying to take another turn. Put your put your land back. Untap your creature. <laughs> yeah, you never. <laughs> oh, here we are talking about Wiener Schnitzel, and he's just. <laughs> Thank you for that. Oh, another land, you say, Kyle? I would love another land. Thank you, Magic. I will draw two extra cards and never, ever, ever do anything else in my life. Oh, yes. I am so very happy to be playing this right now. We will get something. Maybe. I mean, if we wait till turn seven, he'll kill us with Goblin Guide, so there's that piece of it. And we just hit, like, a really big land pocket, I guess. Well, now he can give it... Uh, oh, no, he can't. He can't even activate Kessig Wolf Run. Yep, we're going to go to 14 because I still can't do anything about it. Land. Metamorphosis, which is essentially a land. <laughs> oh my god, I can't win this game. I apologize. For this, sometimes there's just little hiccups in the communication on, on Untap. Seething Song for five mana. 
what does that do? And now you have Siege Commander? Jesus. Okay, well. I mean, we we flood. We have floods for days. I mean, not to say that I don't have any two drops or three drops in the deck or creatures of any kind. A ways to get creatures or removal spells or anything. Well, let's see if we can get something. Manamorphosis for two mana. Draw a card. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah, because that's... Now we do this. Now we do this. Show and tell? Show and tell. So you get to choose an artifact, a creature, or a land. And I get to play a Meyer Battle Sphere. By the way, guys, I forgot to mention that I I re put the the show and tell back in the deck when I realized how good it was. Okay, well that's not terrible. Let's start. Because then we're going to play Sword of Feast and Famine. Yeah, it's not bad. Okay, so we, we managed to we managed to get there. It was a really slow hand, and we managed, but we managed to get there. Alright, so he's going to have that Cascade. Ugh, yikes. Dude is just beating us, man. So he removed a stomping ground. A forest. At least he's mana screwing himself. Hopefully. Another forest. You get the Pyro Wild Shaman. Man, this deck is insane. His deck is absolutely insane. This is like weird goblin thingy. <laughs> this is awesome. Alright. On the plus side, though, next turn we get to play sword, equipped sword to a mire. And then shields up, I guess. We are shields up. At some point, we are going to play Tooth and Nail and get two creatures, which is really awesome for us. Show and Tell and Meyer Battle Sphere was probably the best thing that we could draw. Legitimately making this into a game. Cassie Wolf Run is a cool card. I forgot how cool that card was. Oh, my Lanta. What other creatures do you have, sir? You might just be able to batter me down. Alright, so he's attacking with Goblin Griffin Gu with Goblin Guide, Siege Gang Commander. Well, when, when he attacks the Goblin Guide, I do get to play this card. And it is a land. God, we've just drawn nothing but lands this entire time. That is, I mean, that's just... Alright, so let's go Meyer Battle Sphere here. We're gonna double block that. And then uh, take two no because he can sack. No, I just have to I think I have to block there. Yep, I have to block that way. So is he using Cassie Wolf Run then?
Yep, so he's, oh, he's sacking two goblins to kill the Mario Battle Sphere. So he loses two tokens. I lose a token. He loses Blood Braid Elf. I lose two Myers. Okay. I can deal with that. I got a free land out of my hand. Draw. Something good. Ooh. Uh, skin Shifter is pretty good. Let's play Skin Shifter. And then let's play Sword of Feast and Famine. Whew, this could have been a very painful, long, dreadful game. And instead, it is turning into a decent one. It is turning into a decent one. I might just make this into a, an 08 plant. In all honesty. Yeah. I might just make it into an 08 plant. Ah. Uh. Watch it be a land. It is not a land. It just goes to the top of my deck, though. No, he can he can sack a, a goblin in response. Um, so we're just gonna block. So he doesn't want to. So he can he can kill this. So I don't know. Maybe he wants to. Maybe he doesn't want to kill. Okay, block is cool. Interesting. And he's got he's got Kessig for two. That doesn't do anything. Yeah, he could have Kessig there for two. Untap all the lands that I control. Interesting. What's... I wonder. Let's equip a sword to the mire, right? Oh, it's only two to equip Sword to Mire. So he's a 3-3. Three, three. Let's float the mana. We can float the mana, right? Or does mana empty on all of your phases? That's something I actually have to check. Probably should know that. <laughs> oh, I had seven. I'm, I'm still a mana off. Oh, uh, that's, that's okay. Seven. Hmm. Let's let's Google that. That is a good question. When does man from your mana pool empty? That is a good question. See, this is you should never be ashamed to 
never, ever, ever be ashamed to admit that you don't know. At the end of every phase. Okay. That's what I thought, but... You can never be too sure about these things. Alright, so we're just going to play Noble Hierarch out. And then... Pass the turn. Okay. <laughs> we have a Noble Hierarch. Who brings us to six... Seven, eight, and then nine. Yeah, we're tooth and nail next turn. Oh, Meyer Battlesphere was the clutchest thing that we could have drawn. Also, him deciding not to kill Skin Shifter in response to me creating, making it an 08 plant is an interesting thing. Huh. Hmm. This is interesting. So do I want to block with my 3-3? Three, three? Do I want to make this into a 4-4 four, four Rhino against Trample? No, I block with the 3-3, three, three, I think. If he wants to give it Trample with that, that's fine. Let's reveal our card, shall we? It's a land. It's not a land, it's a Tarmogoyf! Yay! It's a Tarmogoyf! A Tarmogoyf, who, by the way, will be massive... Uh, that's an artifact and a creature. <laughs> that's awesome. This Tarmogoyf gets plus four. I know, oh my gosh. Oh no, these are all expelled from Cascade. So, he just forgot to expel them. Alright. No pump from Kessig? Interesting. I mean, I like Kessig Wolf Run quite a bit. Card is beyond sweet, especially in this in uh, our opponent's deck where it's just pumping to make stuff. From what? Yeah, okay, so he did he didn't want to pump it with Kessig. <laughs> okay. No, that's fine. And that's another thing about Untap too, is it's more about um, helping you teach other people how to play this game than anything else. One, two, three, four. Yep, so plus one. Yep, so I lose my mire. Yeah, it's more about teaching other people how to play than it really is to about winning. Most of the time. At least that's how I feel the Magic community should be. I'm not one to care too much. Oh, he may need the one red. Interesting. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to untap our lands there. Now I'm meant to untap our land. This this card is sweet for our deck. Okay. While I do like Tarmogoyf, I am pretty pretty happy just saying tooth and nail for the hard cost. Tap for a mana. Alright, so let's go and get some creatures, shall we? I don't want to look top. I want to actually search my deck. Find. 
Select card. Uh, where is my Titan? There is my Titan. There's Titan. And then we get to play two forests. They come into play tapped. We get to play them. And then we get to select another card. Which card do I want? I think I want Edric. Spymaster of Trust. And then I would like to end my turn. No attacks. Because I'm going to put the Sword of Feast and Famine on Edric. And then we're just going to start on... Not on Edric. Maybe on Edric, yeah. I could put it on Edric. Well, if he's smart, he'll blow up Edric. Although this Titan is just going to run roughshod, I think. Oh, that's right. He does have one mana. Shard Volley. Shard Volley targeting who? Targeting Edric or targeting Skin Shifter? Skin Shifter is probably the smart move, move there because I can just turn that into a 4 4. I mean, he does have to lose that land. But. So, Tarmogoyf right now, I have a creature, I have an artifact, I have a sorcery, so that's 3, I have an instant, that's 4, and now he has a land, that's 5. Yeah, that's insane. So. Tarmogoyf's a he is sacking that to kill Edric, which we figured he would do. That's fine. That is absolutely fine. Draw a card. Burning catacombs. This is fine. You may search your library. So I don't, I don't actually think I'm going to search my library. As much as I would like to search my library, um... We're going to swing nine. Swings for nine. Oh, I thought we were going to die this game. I really did. We drew clutch. We did. Top decking, or not top decking. I mean, that, that goblin guide essentially gave us just three free draws. But getting to our other guy was just so clutch. And Tarmogoyf is a 5-6. And the reason I'm not tutoring for those lands, I already have plenty of lands, and I really just don't want to know myself. I don't know what else he's got. So if this game actually runs longer, I, I have no intention of milling myself. He discards greater good. What is greater good? Sacrifice a creature, draw cards equal to... Wow. Nice card. Nice. Okay. Man, oh man. All right. Will the Titan get us there? This deck is absolutely insane.
Yeah, all right, so we got we drew the concession. Oh man. Okay. We go to game three, everybody. A nerve wracking experience, but we go to game three. <sighs> okay, this hand is actually awesome. <laughs> this hand is sweet. We've got a Verdant Catacombs to tutor for our swamp. Uh, actually, if we really wanted to, we could tutor for our island, which I think, our tropical island, which I think is what we're going to tutor for. And then we're just going to play Skull Clamp. And then we've got a Fauna Shaman, which I'm happily going to make it to a 3 1 on turn 3. We also have a Show and Tell to get out that Sower of Temptation early if we truly wanted to. Or, again, uh, fauna, fauna Shaman can actually get us uh, essentially anything we want. So, this hand is absurd. Because we've got Fauna Shaman into... Well, we've got Verdant Catacomb into Tropical Island, into Skull Clamp. That's turn one. And then Fauna Shaman. And then I might just ditch this. And then turn... Turn four, uh, Battle Sphere. Turn four battle Battle Sphere seems pretty good. Uh, where's my tropical island? Play tropical island because it is technically a forest. Play tro uh, tap tropical island. Play skull clamp. End turn. Okay, so we've got the Skull Clamp. I mean, I don't want to lose Fauna Shaman by any stretch of the imagination. I also don't want to have to discard Sower of Temptation. Wall of Roots I will happily discard, however, to, to Fauna Shaman. And then end turn. Okay, so what are we going to do? Play our forest. Um, yeah. I, I forgot we should draw my card, too. Probably. I probs should do that. Uh, equip Skull Clamp. So we're going to discard this. Uh, we're going to search our library for Meyer Battle Sphere. Put it into our hand. Uh, all right. Close and then end our turn. And then next turn, we swing in with Fauna Shaman to get those two cards. Hopefully he'll block. And we'll lose our dude, which I would be fine with. And then we'll essentially just show and tell. Show and tell Meyer Battle Sphere. Oh. <laughs> I haven't paid attention to that turn, but I'm going to trust you. Okay. Tell you what. Uh, for for building sweet decks, my, my buddy Alex is not the most astute magic player, but he does, does certainly hang out with us and enjoy playing. So. And he plays Perforos. That's kind of cool. Okay. You have Perforos. Uh, okay, Doke. Let's draw our card. Lotus Cobra is pretty sweet. Actually, can I... Hold up. Can I do that differently? 
Yeah, I can. Oh, no, don't discard that. Oh, don't discard that. Put that back in my hand. Hand. There we go. Alright, let's do this. We'll go right to combat. Swings three. Swings for three with Skull Clamp. I haven't played a land yet this turn. Play Lotus Cobra. Play my Forest. I'm gonna make it a purple mana. Tap that in the purple. Yeah, for those of you that were cringing in your back, like in the background, for me not to cut show and tell, I'm sorry. I am so sorry for uh, show and tell. Play my Mario Battle Sphere. And that seems pretty good. Because whatever he's going to grab, I'm going to play a land with Lotus Cobra. And then I'm just going to grab... I'm basically just going to grab whatever. Oh, he plays a Siege Gank. <laughs> he plays Siege Gank Commander. That's hilarious. Oh, shit. That's awesome. And every time... Wait. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, I deal he does two damage. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, yeah. That's insane. Okay. That's, that's sweet. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. Ah. Uh, okay. And my turn. After taking 8 damage to my face. Out of nowhere. Ugh. Ugh, says Kyle. As he just is destroyed in the air by everything that he holds dear. I'm, I am going to take Siege Commander, though. Yeah. So next turn I'm gonna play a land. I'm gonna play a land that's gonna get me a second blue mana. I'm gonna play Sower of Temptation, grab Siege Commander, and then kill him. <laughs> is my plan. I'll also oh yeah, I'm gonna swing in with Fauna Shaman. I'll probably also swing in with the Battle Sphere. Oh my gosh, I just take eight points of damage. His deck is just so well constructed. I don't know if it's dumb luck or just science or what, but science has obliterated me. It has it has destroyed me. Oh man, I don't know if I can take any more of this combo nonsense. But yeah, play something bigger that I want to take. Bigger than Siege Gang, whatever the heck his name is. Uh, sure, four to me, I go to seven. Okay, so he's actually going for his, probably his one win, his one way to win this is uh, sacking those tokens to me, to hit me. I mean, that's pretty good. So Siege Commander can also... Sack himself, so he's got me essentially at three, and then he just has to draw. Well, ostensibly at three. Can I get a blue mana from Lotus Cobra?
I have to gain control of that Siege Can Commander. I mean, that's going to be four more points of damage, then he plays two creatures and I'm dead. Yeah, I have to, I have to take Siege Commander here. That's going to be seven. I'm actually going to tap these two. So he's automatically taking, yeah, he's automatically taking two from the Meyer Battle Sphere. So it puts me at six, nine. I'm swinging eleven. I'm swinging eleven. Yeah, and then end my turn. And the reason I didn't swing with the Cobra, I could have swung on with swung in with Cobra if I had chosen to. Uh, I wanted to keep Cobra back so that I could a block with it should the yeah Siege Commander is still mine. Eh, he says. Yeah, Scoop. Oof. Good games, though. Certainly good games. All right. On to the next round. Managed to actually do pretty well there. Hopefully, I'm. Hopefully, we'll do something great. Oh, he had the sneak attack and the greater good, but just no real good creatures once we play that show and tell. Alright guys, see you in the next round.